So I wasn't planning on making a Destiny 2 video earlier this morning, so it kind of caught me by surprise when I found myself already editing and uh, already kind of anxious to talk about Cade getting murked, in case you haven't really seen or heard, which I'm sure you have, considering it's probably all over Reddit and YouTube, and Cade 6 is no more deceased and he's done. I'm not sure if this is how planned this actually was, if this was like, you know, like Nate, it's just like, I'm done, or if Thing from the Summit, you know, like a bunch of the guys that went to the Summit kind of kind of said like this is what needs to be done like you need to throw in some sort of plot twist or whatever because of the whole linear typical like you know good guy bad guy thing just wasn't working out but i didn't think that it would be like this i didn't think that they would take Cade. it's just kind of a, a surprise to me uh and there's some speculation online whether or not Kate is actually dead or not. And I have a few questions and observations myself that I'd just kind of like to uh, express, I guess. So without further ado, let's uh, watch the trailer if you haven't seen it yet. And if you have, then just skip forward about a minute and a half. And yeah, here we go. And there it is. So this is a very grim ending for one of our most beloved characters in the Destiny story. The forums and Reddit, people I'm sure are asking, did he really die? Or like there, you know, there are people out there that are probably just kind of unaware of how a guardian actually dies and how you know what the rules apply to for an EXO. So we're gonna go through the trailer again, and I'm gonna explain why I kind of can confirm that it is the death of Kate. And here's Kate, he's all busted up. It's kind of crazy to think that Kate has just been through so much. He's been through the Battle of Six Fronts, Battle of Twilight, and just years of shit. Same with his ghost, too. This is what kind of pisses me off about the whole ghost thing. He's kind of looking around like it's like his first day on the job or something. Then boom. Okay. Right here. Bunchy should have, like... It seems kind of brutal, but he should have exploded into parts or something, you know, and they should have kind of just adjusted the camera angle to the ground to show that he is dead. Because that's the thing about a ghost. If a ghost dies, that's kind of like an, a headshot to a guardian, because without your ghost, you're basically dead. If something was able to kill your ghost, they're going to kill you for sure. This is the part that got my stomach rolling, though. Ace of Spades. Cade's own gun. He never thought that he'd probably ever see himself die from his own gun like the very last thing he'd see is his own gun and in the eyes of Aldrin but this proves it the, the kind of the most here Am I strong enough to let things just die to let things just die, die. also who is this who is this new Kel didn't we kill off most Kells? This should be interesting. Also, like, what's the queen think about this? What's Marisol? What even happened to her? Like, that's her brother. So there's like this weird, like, misconnection-ish. I mean, we all kind of knew that Prince Olgen was a little bitter, you know, maybe a little, whatever, lack of a better word, maybe evil. But 
you know the queen would not be happy for that like would not be happy about that since we helped her and all that and my last question is what is with this portal here what is really going on here I, I kind of, you know, don't really know what else to say about it. It's just kind of weird how Kay just kind of dies and then and Aldrin just kind of walks towards it. So that should, that's kind of a mystery. And just to clarify, I don't really play Destiny 2 all that much. I didn't bother to buy the expansions or anything like that. However, I am still heavily invested into the lore of Destiny. I kind of always have been since beta. And so... I still keep up with them. Bungie kind of just butchering that, you know, that they aren't really good about following their own story since there's a lot of these weird, like, plot holes, you know, like people, like, guardians like Eris and Marasov just, and, like, the stranger just kind of leave with no, no explanation, like, they never even existed whatsoever, and then certain other characters are introduced with no backs, there's just, like, all these weird things going on, you know any kind of interest I have left and Destiny is just hanging on by a thread. It's kind of the thread of the lore and Destiny or Bungie is just slowly being kind of snipping at that. So but this is interesting. Seeing seeing Cade kinda of just die like that is it takes a turn. Kinda of changes everything. But with that being said, I'm still probably not gonna purchase any of the Destiny content up until it's all for 60 bucks, and then that's, you know, that's kind of when I'm going to have my fun. But until then, I'll be carrying out with the lore. Anyways, I appreciate you guys listening to my thoughts and opinions on this, and thank you for watching. A lonesome star in a bitter sky. I